Hi everybody, this is Karen from Karen Schultz Designs and I just wanted to drop in for a quick minute to show you how to use my new watercolor overlays. Whether you're using Photoshop Elements or the full version of Photoshop, understanding how to use blend modes will make working with any overlays super fun and easy. I just posted a tutorial on the OScraps blog explaining the what, the where, how, and why and when I think is in there too when you want to use blend mode so be sure to head over there and check that out I'll put a link in the comments below so you can find that uh, in the meantime I just wanted to show you how easy it is to work with blend modes and how fast uh, this is a watercolor sample that you'll find in in my shop so I'll put a link there so you can download that as well and experiment on your own but in brief a blend mode is uh, what is going to cause two layers in the layers panel to interact with one another. You can use a solid color, um, a solid color layer, a gradient layer, another background, you know, anything you want. But for this quick demonstration, I'm just going to use a gradient layer. So we have our uh, sample here. And to add the layer, we want to go to the create a new fill layer or adjustment icon click on that and one of the options is solid color or gradient and I'm just going to choose a gradient. This is um, what will pop up, the gradient fill. If I want to change the gradient, I'll click inside here and then I have all these options. Um, I don't believe they're grouped like this in Photoshop Elements. You just have the, the pictures, they're not in groups, but basically it's the same thing. I'm just going to open um, the purple one and I think I'll choose this one right here. Once you've chosen your um, gradient, click OK, and then click OK again. And now you say, see you have this gradient fill layer above the watercolor color layer. So if I turn this off, you see the watercolor layer. But we want these to interact with each other. So this is the blend mode option right here. Click on the down pointing arrow, and then you can cycle through the options that you have to see what you like best. You can just move your mouse down and see the real-time changes or click and then use your down pointing arrow on your keyboard to quickly cycle through the blend modes. So let's cycle through and see what we have. I like that one. That one is nice. It doesn't pick up all the pink color. Hard light looked pretty much the same as overlay. But you can cycle through and you can see you can get really different looks. Some are good, some not so good. And once you find what you like, and I think I'll go back up to, um, I think it was hard light or overlay. They're very similar hard lights, just a little bit darker, I think. Once you have what you like, you're done. You go ahead and save this as a JPEG, and you have a gorgeous background paper to use as it is or add anything else to it that you want. That's how easy it is. If you have any questions, leave comments or questions for me in the um section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Again, this is Karen, and I hope you have fun using blend modes.